Hallelujah, hallelujah. Beloved all over the globe, all over the continent. Is your servant, Reverend Eric Amankwa, a minister of the Branded of Ghana, bringing us a moment of prayer and truth. Beloved, the passage is Psalm 3, verse 3. And the theme is the lifter of my head. Today is Monday, September 30th, 2024. Beloved, shall we pray? Oh God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our heart be acceptable unto you. Oh God, you are my rock and my redeemer. Amen. Beloved, Psalm 3 verse 3, But you, O Lord, are assured about me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. Amen. Beloved, in times of trouble and despair, when the weight of the world seems to press upon your shoulders, upon our shoulders, remember that we serve a God who is the lifter of our heads. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this powerful image from Psalm 3 speaks volumes about our Lord's character and his relationship with us. David, the author of this psalm, was facing a difficult challenge, a difficult situation. His own son Absalom had rebelled against him, forcing David to flee Jerusalem. In the midst of this personal and political crisis, David turns to God and declares him as his, as his protector, his glory and the, and the one who lifts his head. My brothers and sisters in our lives, when we bow our heads in shame, sorrow or defeat, it is the gentle hand of our loving Father, Jesus the Christ, that raises our gaze back to him. This act of lifting our heads is not just about physical posture, but about restoring our dignity, renewing our hope, and redirecting our focus. Beloved, may the good Lord restore unto you whatever the cankerworms have eaten. May the good Lord renew you and may the good Lord redirect your paths. Beloved, as our Lord and Savior Jesus being the lifter of your head, our heads, God is saying, you are not defined by your circumstances. My beloved, your worth is not determined by your failures or success. My precious one, there is hope beyond what you can see right now. In lifting our heads, God invites us to see things from his perspective. He reminds us of who we are in him, beloved, redeemed, and purpose. He calls us to look beyond our current trials and fix our eyes on his unchanging promises. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I prophesy upon the life of someone. I make a decree and declaration that God is lifting your head from despair to hope, from shame to honor, from fear to faith. He is realigning your vision with his eternal purposes. Where you have been looking down, focus on your problems. He is lifting your gaze to see his solutions. As your head is lifted, you will begin to walk with a new confidence, not in yourself, but in the God who holds you. You will speak with authority, for you know who you are. My brothers and sisters in Christ, you will move with purpose, for you will see the path he has set before you. Beloved, as we pray and then as I pray with you, say, O oh Lord, lift my head from the pit of despair and set my feet on the rock of your truth. O oh Lord Jesus, remove every weight that causes me to bow in shame and clothe me with your dignity. Holy Spirit, realign my vision with your eternal perspective that I may see as you see. Beloved, I pray for those looking for job, those looking for career change. I see God lifting the heads of somebody. 
May the whole of this week, may the whole of this week, may you experience a living testimony. May you experience a living testimony. May the good Lord be your shield. As the good Lord lift your head, whatever career that you have applied for, whatever job that you have applied for, beloved, I see testimony coming this week. I see testimony coming your way. Beloved, I pray for you that may every plan works of the enemy concerning your career search be thwarted in the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Beloved, shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for being the lifter of our heads. In your mercy, O oh God, reach down and raise our countenance to behold your glory. Strengthen our necks with your truth, that we may stand tall in the face of adversity. As you lift our heads, fill our hearts with your peace and our mouth with your praise. Father, may we walk in the confidence of your love, with our eyes fixed on you, our shield and our glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Beloved, you will hear same time the sound of my voice tomorrow by this time. It shalom malichem. It shalom alechem. Meaning a Hebrew greeting, meaning may the peace of God be upon you. It's bye bye.